Hi, I'm Kylie of Kylie M Interiors, online paint color consultant and e-design expert. Today we're going to look at Benjamin Moore Collingwood. Collingwood is a warm gray paint color. Now when it comes to warm gray paint colors, you're going to be dealing primarily with purple and green undertones. Now every gray, warm or cool, can pick up blue, purple, or green. But some colors are a little bit more committed to a certain undertone and Collingwood is committed to a purple undertone. So it will not go green, it will not go blue, it's a little bit more committed. If you don't like purple undertones, you might still like this paint color because while it's committed, it's still pretty soft and subtle in its approach. Now when it comes to LRV, Collingwood has an LRV of 62. If you don't know what that is, LRV is light reflectance value, and it tells you how light or dark a paint color is on a scale from zero, which is black, 100, which is white. And every paint color has an LRV number. So Collingwood sitting at 62 is what I call my magical number. I actually dedicated a blog post to it because I love it so much. It's a great depth for the average room with the average amount of light. Even if you have a pretty bright room, with this LRV, it's going to hold itself pretty well. It will wash out. Every paint color will brighten up and lighten up in a super bright room. If you have a dark room, Collingwood does pretty well as long as you have a decently bright, clean trim with it to let it pop a bit more. And you will want to improve your interior lighting to really bring it to life. Now, one of the best ways to pick a paint color is with comparison. So I want to show you a few. Let's see, Balboa Mist. This is Benjamin Moore. So you can see that's a little bit lighter. Its LRV is probably around 67 or 68, I would think. But you can see again, soft warm gray, a little bit of that purple undertone that is that little bit more committed to purple, not blue, not green. Let's also look at Sherwin Williams Agreeable Gray, which is just as popular as Collingwood, even though they're doing slightly different things. So if you can see there, Agreeable Gray, it has just a wink more depth. I think its LRV is at 60 and it also has more flexible undertones. So whereas Collingwood's going to commit to that little wink of purple, Agreeable Gray can really move around a bit more and I've seen it go blue, purple, green, and I've also seen it look just generally like a soft, warm, gray or grayish. It really is quite flexible. So if that purple makes you nervous, check out my video on Agreeable Gray. Now, if I'm going to partner Collingwood with white, so if I'm looking for a trim color, a cabinet color, I'm probably going to look at Chantilly Lace first, nice and crisp and clean. I love how that just plays off Collingwood, lets it come to life. If I want a softer approach, a warm approach, the warmest I would go would be Benjamin Moore White Dove. You don't want to go any warmer than this where you're really going to activate the purple in Collingwood and it could look almost a bit purple pink, especially if you have southern light. And lastly, Oxford White, kind of sitting in between the last two, a little bit of softness to it. I love those two. So that is Collingwood. I hope you'll consider visiting my website, www.kyliaminteriors.ca. I have over 300 articles for you to check out and an awesome search function. You can type in keywords and it will take you to hundreds of posts about update ideas, paint color reviews, and affordable ways to make your home your dream home. And please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Thank you.